Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel, it's Josh. I have a rather spectacular reveal, unboxing, sort of initial thoughts um, and feelings about the product review video today. And uh, I, <laughs> I really don't know what to say, I'm just so giddy and excited about it. Um, I'll show you the bag and then I'll talk a little bit about it. So this is the bag and that is what I bought. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Um, I kind of cheated. Um, I, I actually got this about a week ago um, and have been wearing it. I just didn't have the time to get around to like filming a video about it. It is the Omega Seamaster Professional Diver 300 meter or 1000 feet. Um, I think that's its like formal name. That's what I see it under like on the on the site. So I'm gonna do this in two parts. So I've got the thing here. I'm gonna put it back um, in the bag and I'm gonna put it back. So this is the box it comes in and I'm gonna do like a proper unboxing but I'm gonna um, cut and then move you know like behind the camera um, because this you need to see this like up close. It's I can't even describe it. I'm not gonna go into real technical detail in this video. Uh, if you're curious about, you know, sort of the uh, the information about it, it is out there. So I'm not gonna talk about that. But there and there are great videos on YouTube here as well. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it short, although that's not really going that well uh, as it is. But um, I'm gonna pop it right back in the box, and I will see you behind the camera. Omegas packaging has to be like some of the nicest packaging I've ever seen um, not only for a watch but like you know I mean if you watch my channel bags and everything I was so blown away by the packaging that they do um, when I got the watch and you know they they delivered it presented it to me uh, in the boutique just incredible um, so here it is this is the okay so we'll just go piece by piece this is the uh, this is a really nice everything like everything here is so tactile I'm not gonna take the cards out because they have you know the serial number and all the identifiers of my my individual watch on them um, but again I'm sure you can find pictures and whatnot everything is so they're glossy and they've got you know the Omega logo sort of in a hologram effect type thing uh, for uh, authentication um, the text on here like the the numbers on the card are actually you know I might let me take this one out um, like the numbers on the card are uh, printed like you can you can like scrape them off or anything um, the seal is it, it's like a credit card you know so put that to the side uh, the next thing in here is the official Omega Boutique um, uh, folio and this I turned the card around um, I just I didn't want to put my essay on blast <laughs> because she did some really really nice things and I'll talk about that in just a minute as well um, in here you also get your receipt and it comes in this beautiful Omega folio everything all the packaging from the boutique says you know Omega Boutique on it which is a really nice touch then last but not least, ooh, you've got your operating instructions and these come in every language. So really the English is only this first bit here. Um, and then it, you know, it comes with, it, they, they write in when you buy the watch, they write in you know, the caliber, the figure number, blah, 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 and all that sort of thing, unique to your watch. Um, really, really nice. Everything in here, again, is just finished so nicely. So um, let me put this back in here because the box is starting to collapse. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but the lining of the box, like even just the cardboard, the like outer box, is all, like it's foam padded. The watch box itself though, this is, oh my gosh. I, you can see, okay, you can see when I put my fingers down, like this is, it's a, it's a, it's, it's real wood. Um, it has a beautiful lacquered finish. Um, 
as you can see in the like you can see the reflection of my glove there um, and then the Omega logo is finished under the lacquer in silver uh, it's like a like a um, silver <laughs> and then ooh, you can see there on the so this is a button to open the box it has the classic Omega logo with the globe so let me clear this away and when we put the, so let's open the box here and uh, I'm like dying this is so beautiful look at this box I mean um, this is newer packaging for Omega they didn't used to do this so when I got the when I got the watch um, that's why I was so shocked because it's not the packaging that I was familiar with you know 10 million years ago when I sold these you know when I sold watches they didn't do this it was still the kind of the red they almost look like Cartier boxes um, not nearly anything to this standard so really beautifully finished this is sort of a red um, I don't know it's like a it's not velvet but it's it's like a kind of a really nice fabric lining along the edge here and then again all of this material is so is is padded and finished in you know that kind of cream leather with the red Omega stamped in there and gorgeous absolutely gorgeous metal hardware like actual metal um, hardware on the button on the little lock in there um, on the hinges like I've never seen again I've just I've never seen a box like this for any product this in itself is a product to behold but okay and I know I've spent like five minutes talking about the box but let me just show you really quickly okay so I'm gonna close the box and then are you kidding me it's dampened so you know it's not just gonna slam shut it's dampened and just look at that action <laughs> And then you just, you know, press it to close. Um, I have a watch box. It's a really nice wolf watch box um, that I keep all the rest of my watches in. But I've been keeping the Omega in here just because, like, why wouldn't you? I mean, why wouldn't you? Okay. But that's enough about the box. So let's look at the watch. This is gorgeous. Like, gorgeous. I, again, I'm not going to talk about the technical specifications of it because they're out there for you to find um, and read about online. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go over this really quickly. Um, really gorgeous. I mean, look at that face and the way that it reflects light. So the dial, the band is stainless steel and it's a really nice, um, what is that, like actual nine piece? nine so each of these um, stainless steel pieces is separate so it's not like one piece that part of its brushed these are actually every sort of piece in this bracelet is separate um, so you know nine across if, if you look at it that way um, gorgeous uh, and the band is so so high quality it's actually I I'm pretty good at adjusting watches and doing sort of like the repair and you know whatnot on it I don't know how to do these. These are, they actually screw in, like the links, instead of being, you know, like a, like a pin where you pound it out. Um, these are actually sc uh, screwed, screw down links. Um, beautiful Omega clasp. Oh, and there's, you can see the scratches that I've put on it um, in the past week <laughs> of wear. I don't, I, I don't care. You know, this is a watch that I, I bought it to wear it, you know, it's, and I'll talk a little bit more about that as well, but I bought this watch to wear it, so, you know, the fact that it's got scratches on it, it's fine. It's, it was going to happen, so, you know. Um, the dial is beautiful. I actually, it looks, dare I say it looks plain in pictures, until you see it in person, and then you see all the intricate detail on it, and it, you know, all of a sudden it's like, that's why it's an Omega. Um, the bezel is ceramic and all of the little marks the ticks and the numbers are engraved in the ceramic um, so the bezel again probably is not going to scratch all that easily uh, it, it it has a domed can you see that it's like domed just ever so slightly 
a dome sapphire crystal. There are three coats of anti-reflective coating on the inside of the dot of the crystal, and then one on the outside, which is why when you hold it up to the light and all that kind of thing, you're never really you're not like the dial is never going to be illegible at all. Um, and the dial on this watch is actually gorgeous. You can't really tell in the pictures, and again, why I say it sort of looked plain when I first saw it um, online, but the dial is a lacquer dial. So what you're seeing in the reflection of my window there is the reflection on the in the crystal. Then you're seeing another layer of reflection on the dial itself, and that's because this dial is lacquered. So you can see that maybe a little bit better there and everything though about this watch is like the quality is just incredible um each of those ticks are each of the little hour markers are raised and then the top of them it's like a dome like the loom you know the loom the the white part is actually like a dome shape so everything and ugh, just the finishing is incredible um on the face, it says Omega Seamaster Professional, coaxial chronometer, 300 meters, 1,000 feet. Again, if you want the whole lowdown on the coaxial movement, I can do it. Like, I, I'm more than happy to talk about it. It'll just be, you know, another, <laughs> like, hour-long video. Um, so let me know down in the comments. I can absolutely do a video talking about the movement in this watch, and I can compare it to other watches that I have. You know, that's that's not a problem. I just didn't want to bore the people who are here to just kind of see the watch, hear about it, um, and that sort of thing. So again, the inside has the Seamaster, kind of like the, the trademark case on the back. It is a screw down case back, which is awesome. It also has the helium escapement valve, which watch people will say, some say it's a gimmick, some say it's, it's you know, type part of the design and part of its timelessness. Um, screw down crown with the Omega logo on there if you can see that uh, just I don't know absolutely gorgeous I am so <laughs> again if I sound not all that excited about it it's because I've had a week to kind of wear it you know bond with it fall in love with it and so now I can kind of appreciate it for what it is you know rather than freaking out like a little girl about it although I was doing that last week um, just, oh, look at that, oh, I love it when the dial catches a reflection and some light, it just, it just comes alive, sort of in its own. I really also like, you know, the Submariners and a lot of other watches, dive watches, have either a matte finish dial or a sunray dial. I might be in the minority, I really don't like them, because I think that they can look cheap if not, if they're not done really, really well. Um, and so I, I love that they went with a lacquer dial because I think it just looks so much more expensive or quality. I don't know. There's something about that dial that just, I'm glad there, it's not a texture. I'm glad it's not matte and I'm glad it's not a sunray. I think it's perfect. Um, one last small detail, that 14, the date there. So the, there's like a little rectangle around the date window. That's actually like metallic paint, like a metallic finish. And so are the numbers. The numbers are actually silver and not just like, you know, like a painted on white number. Um, really, really special. I'm so in love with this. And all things considered, this watch was not that expensive. In the bigger picture of, you know, like fine timepieces and Omega timepieces, and timepieces that I think are you know, will be as timeless when I'm 50 as they are today, I think I got a pretty good deal. Um, so with that, I'm going to segue into sort of my buying experience and going into the boutique. Um, I'm a huge believer in going to the boutique for the item that you're buying. So whether that is, you know, a Louis Vuitton bag or an Omega watch or a car, you know, if you're going to buy it new, why wouldn't you go to the boutique? Now, I know that, and okay, I don't want that to come off as snobby, but I know that in some places, the city I live in, 
does not have an Omega Boutique. So I had to drive to the nearest one. Um, and I know that that's the case for a lot of places where, you know, you might not have one or it might not be convenient. I just want to advocate for making the trip, making it an experience for yourself, because what I'm about to tell you, I, I and the reason I don't want to put my essay's name out there is I don't want, I don't know, not that anybody, you know, nobody important is watching my videos, but she gave, she made the experience so special and she just went so above and beyond and I would, I don't want to get her in trouble or, or, you know, set any kind of expectation about what shopping at an Omega Boutique is like. Um, and I say that because she, I, I was, you know, I, I had called her to put the item on hold and I said, hey, look, I, you know, it's my first Omega. I'm really, really excited. I just want to make sure you've got one, you know, and she said, I actually have a fresh one in the back. It's got all its plastic on it. Nobody's ever worn it or, you know, touched it. Um, I'm going to put your name on it and it'll be on hold for you. Um, and I had called around to some of the local authorized dealers where I live and a lot of them had one in stock, but it was on the floor, you know, in a display case. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but, you know, I'm spending a considerable amount of money and I didn't want to take home the floor model. And if that makes me a snob, so be it. But you're paying the same price whether you take home the floor model or you get a fresh one from the back. Um, and I think that at the Omega Boutique, you're more likely to get a fresh one you're more likely to get a better experience and they are trained in the brand and they're trained in the product. Um, the other thing, so, you know, we're sitting there talking and I said, you know, the other thing, I, so in addition to the watch, I really want to see some of your NATO straps because I think that they are, you know, a dive watch looks so good on a NATO strap. So she brought one, she brought a couple out that she thought, um, you know, matched the watch well and I went home with this bad boy and is that not perfect like so it's sort of the i don't want to say like iconic james bond strap because it's not the james bond one is black gray black gray black gray black um this one i got the red because i thought that it matched the you know there's red on the dial there and i just thought that was so perfect um I know, okay, if you read online, you know, people are like, oh, who wants to buy the Omega when it's, you know, it's, it's $165 and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And it's true that you can get just as, as high a quality NATO strap from, you know, like a different company. But I don't know. I thought that, you know, <laughs> I thought that it was worth it to spend the money on the Omega branded one. Um, and, I, you know, I was telling, talking to her about that and all this kind of thing. And she says, you know what? It's your first Omega. You know, you, you obviously know a lot about the watch. You, you know, um, I really want this to be special for you. I'm really, really glad you're joining the Omega family. And she sent me home with this for free. And I was, I was fully ready to pay for it. You know, I was fully ready to put down the hundred and what, 60 bucks or whatever these are. Um, and she was like, no, 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 don't worry about it. I'm just going to throw it in here. It's fine. She really, really didn't have to do that, but again, I think that that's just something about, you know, it's part of the reason I went to the boutique, because I knew I was going to get just exceptional service and an ex exceptional experience. So that came in this beautiful little cardboard pouch. Um, and then, if that's not enough, I was wearing another watch into the store, um, and I was kind of cheeky and said, hey, can I, you know, can I wear this one out? And so, you know, she didn't put it back in the box. But um, the watch that I had on, which was like, you know, some cheap Tissot or something, um, she was like, well, you know, I can put it back in the box, but um, I don't know if it'll fit, you know, on the little pillow thing. So I'm just going to send you home with a travel pouch. And this is, oh, and this, this comes with every watch. This is not special. Um, it's a really nice microfiber, Omega branded, like a drawstring pouch. So, you know, as you're traveling, um, you can throw your watch in here, um, and carry it around. But what she sent me home with was this beautiful hard sided, it looks like a sunglass case. Like it looks like, you know, a sunglass holder case thing in the Omega red. And 
Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, zips open all around, and inside it's got... These kind of feel cheap, but again, I'm not complaining because it was free. Um, it's got like a foam... It's got like a foam pad there for you to, to protect your watch. I'm probably just going to take this out, put this, you know, the Omega pouch in here, and then I can probably also fit, I've got, you know, like my ring. I have a little drawstring bag that came with my ring. I can probably fit that in there, and I can probably even fit like a bracelet in here too as well. Um, so, 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 so grateful for her service. All the things that she, you know, sent me home with for free. Um, the NATO strap. I could probably actually put the NATO strap in here with that. Um... It's just, so gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I can probably put all this in here, and then that way, because, you know, and I, I travel frequently enough that um, having this, you know, like, if I wanted to take it off during a flight, if I wanted to, you know, leave it in a bag in a hotel, if I wasn't going to wear it that day, whatever the reason, just having one little extra layer of security, because, you know, this is a hard-sided pouch. Like, it'd be kind of hard to crush this. Um... Just having this to keep my watch safe is amazing. And again, I am so grateful that she threw that in there. Um, so that's about it in terms of the watch and the experience and everything like that. Um, again, if you want, you know, if anybody wants the whole technical deep dive, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, but again, you know, it's all out there elsewhere for you to see. Um, so yeah, and I will report back on how, you know, how it wears, how I wear it, what my experience is, but so far, after a week, I am absolutely, absolutely in love with this. Thanks for watching another video. If you uh, like this kind of video, uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. Um, and thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed to my videos. It really, really means a lot to me. Um, thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you all soon.